47 yards for Justin Thomas, the quarterback, to Deion Hill. This time, Tech will keep it on the ground, but the ball is loose on the ground, and Carolina picks it up. The Jackets tried to flip it to Charles Perkins, coming to the right. It was fumbled immediately, and Norquitas Otis falls on it. And as soon as they turn their shoulders to go make, get the handoff guy, Williams pulls it back and keeps it. Williams to throw, tries to flip it down the field, and it's intercepted. Jamal Golden with the pick for Georgia Tech. Williams had all kinds of room to run if he had wanted to. Elected to try to push it down the field. It was tipped by Golden and then brought in for the pick. Justin Thomas sets up in that traditional eye look, a man behind him, and then a wing to either side. It will be a pitch to the far side and a lot of room for Charles Perkins. Tripped up as he crosses the 40 by Tim Scott, but it's a first down. Georgia Tech at the Carolina 17. They'll give it, nope, Thomas is gonna keep it. Pitch it, coming near side. A lot of room over the 10, over the five is Charles Perkins. 12th play of the drive now for Georgia Tech, which started after the golden interception. More than six minutes of game action to go. Three receivers in the formation, quick handoff to Lasky, and he's in for the touchdown. So Georgia Tech goes 70 yards in 12 plays. The right defensive end, another read option handoff to Logan through the first line of defense then runs into the umpire. That slowed him down and allowed Tech to chase him down at the 43-yard line. Now here's Mitch Trubisky. He's going to hand off to Logan, coming near side, into the open, jumps over a man at the 40, and it's down close to the 35-yard line. Paul Davis with the stop. This is the best we've seen T.J. Logan run the football. Receivers in the formation this time for Carolina. Williams looking to throw, complete at the 15, carrying it over the 10. Bug Howard close to the first down, and he has it down to the 8. Paul Davis, another Tech linebacker with the stop. First and goal with a minute 21 to go first quarter. Carolina needs eight yards for the end zone. They'll try a screen out to Howard. To the five, to the pylon. Touchdown, Carolina. Howard reached that ball out as he was falling out of bounds. Tumbled the pylon over and got the heels within a point of tying the game. Tech showing some pressure, brings two extra blisters. Carolina passes and completes for the first down to Switzer right at the first down marker. Move those chains, Tar Heels keep going with 9.39 to go in the second quarter. Good job by Logan, too, picking up one of the two blitzers. Tech was bringing right up the gut on that last play. This time, Tech runs just three minute Williams, deep to Switzer, has it at the 30. You are not catching him. Touchdown, Carolina. Corey Griffin saw Switzer catch it about three yards in front of him. He gave it about five steps and said, uh -uh. Second and long. Williams looking to his right. He'll take off. Has a blocker in front. Has the first down and more. Tripped up near the 40. Good block down the field. I think it was Caleb Peterson. Four and a half minutes to go. First half. Carolina up and with the football. Williams play action. Deep over the middle. Caught at the 25. TJ Thorpe moves to the 21. Tech really crowding the line. Switzer goes in motion from left to right. Williams in the shotgun, immediately looks to his right. Nothing there, still dancing around in the pocket. Finally goes far sideline, caught by Switzer, breaks a tackle at the 10, and into the end zone for the touchdown. And Jones right there, Switzer needs to give Jack Tab a high five because he lowered the boom. The guy had, a defender had an angle on him, and Jack Tab wiped him out to open it up for Switzer to score. Thomas under center. He's gonna just drop straight back this time, and now it's a quarterback draw. Angling to the far side over the 20. Thomas is a fast runner and scoots out of bounds at the 12. He's really known as he gains a good 19 yards on the design run. Thomas will fake the pitch, look to pass. Otis pressuring, Thomas gets away, goes to the end zone, touchdown. Wide open is Tony Zinnen for the six. The Tar Heel defense had stiffened on the previous drive, forcing a punt. But Tech that time with relative ease, just five plays. That fooled me. I thought he had given it to Lasky as well. Lasky, the B back, right behind Thomas, the wing on either side. Those are the A backs in this offense. Thomas keeps it himself, and this time Tar will play it perfectly. And Thomas just crumbles down at the 45. Tar with five men in the line of scrimmage. 
Thomas, play action, he's gonna pass. Comes near side, Smiley made an attempt but missed it. Waller with the catch and a touchdown. Smiley was positioned right there, but he jumped and swatted at it and couldn't make the play. Logan the back in the backfield after Morris gave the heels some good minutes. And it will be a handoff to Logan, sweeping near side. Boy, lowers his shoulder. Just drop Paul Davis, a Georgia Tech linebacker, as Logan gets the first down. 24-21, Tech. Carolina quickly dumps it to Logan near side. He's over the 20. Pulls his way over the 15. Another aggressive run by Greensboro native TJ Logan as he gets to the 13-yard line. Second and one. Williams looking to Quinshaw Davis, don't throw it as they don't take off, and he's close, and he's in. Touchdown, Carolina. Marquise Williams does it with his legs for six. Boy, did a little bit with his arms. Jones got a great pump fake. Georgia Tech defender jumped. As soon as he was in the air, Williams took off and read his blockers beautifully to the end zone. 7.43 to go, third quarter, Carolina by four, 28-24. Thomas will keep it himself, pitching it to the near side, and Walker. Bottles up the runner. It was Snotty who got the pitch, and he got the snotty hit out of him by Brian Walker for a loss. Third quarter, Williams to pass. Caught by Tab at the 35. Carries a man with him over the 30. DJ White had a free ride that time. He's second and seven. Williams again in the shotgun. Quick pitch to Morris. A lot of room near side. 10, Morris to the five. Reaches out for the pylon. Did he get it in time? Not quite. Stepped out of bounds on the jump as he went airborne to hit the pylon. Morris is the back to Williams' right. Georgia Tech brings a ton of pressure. Hand off to Morris in there for the touchdown. Boy, I tell you, he bobbled the handoff, but he was able to secure that puppy and hit where he wanted to go for six as we start the fourth quarter. Again, Carolina up 11. Tech trying for the deep shot, and it is caught at the 15. Smelter heading to the far side, and he'll score. Tech faked the pitch that time, and in one play in the third or in the fourth quarter, is able to get back within a score on the long pass and touchdown for Carolina. And Georgia Tech tries the onside. It's loose in the NC insignia, and Carolina is able to get it. Tech bringing pressure again. Williams, time to throw. He's going to try deep. Mac Collins has it. Touchdown, Carolina. What a grab by Mac Collins in the left corner of the end zone. Again, great pass by Williams, putting it where he knows Mac Collins can go up and get it with low risk of the interception. Thomas, looks like maybe changing the play from under center. He's going to come near side on the option. Carolina read it perfectly. Brennan throws down Sinjin Days well back behind the line of scrimmage. Just one more stop would feel huge. Option far side, first down and more. Zinnin caught at the 20, carries Tim Scott inside the 15. Now Jones, just nobody there on the pitch man. It's hard to see what happened there. 260 yards on the ground for Tech so far today. Hand off to Lasky, the be back into the second level and into the end zone. Georgia Tech with a key answer as the Jackets go 72 yards for the touchdown. Tech's gonna run the option to the far side. Thomas keeps it, and he is stood up at the one. Des Lawrence with the final hit. Thomas gonna run a reverse pitch to Smelter. A lot of room down the far side. He's gonna go. Smelter, he may run out of gas. Nope, he's going to take it to the end zone for the touchdown. Boy, Jones, that play was set up perfectly by Georgia Tech all night. They've been hitting the quick sweeps right and left with a lot of success. They've been saving that play. They really set it up well, and when they got it, boy, they hit it and blocked it beautifully. This time they have five up there, and they bring it. Williams tosses it, caught, tab. What a tough catch at the 45-yard line. He had Golden all on it. Shotgun snap to Williams, Tech brings pressure, Carolina picks it up, pass a little high, but brought in by Switzer at the 30. Nice leaping grab for the first down. To Williams, pressure on the way, hits it in the flat to Morris. Flag is down, 
Morris to the 10 and bumped out of bounds, but let's wait on the flag. This could be critical if it's on the heels. This will bump us almost out of field goal range. Just a handful of flags. Okay, number 40. Half the distance to the goal from the end of the play. First down. Williams in the shotgun. Gets the snap. Gives it to Logan. Touchdown. Carolina. And with 11 seconds left, the heels are back on top. See, Logan's kind of had a breakout night. Nice to see him get the ball to finish off that touchdown drive. Carolina up five, 48-43. Thomas will drop back. Throws it and drops. That's it. Carolina snaps its five-game losing streak to Georgia Tech. Snaps its four-game losing streak on the season. And believe it or not, still controls its own destiny in the Coastal Division.